hello everyone welcome back to my channel hope you are doing good in today's video we are going to learn how to cut a symmetric top or one shoulder top if you want to cut your asymmetric top you have to consider your chest line your bust line and your waistline so i'm going to use paper to demonstrate to you today on how to cut a symmetric top shoulder. if you want to mark your own shoulder blouse or top you have to know your bust measurement so let's say for instance if your bust measurement is 36 you have to divide by four inches so that will give you nine inches and for you to know how much fabric to fold you have to mark nine inches that is you have to measure your bust measurement divided by four that will give you the actual number then you have to add between two to three inches to it that will be okay for you to cut your asymmetric top or blouse so here as you can see an half inch line here that will be the starting point we are going to mark our vertical measurements so the vertical measurement we are going to take is our bust area that's number one then the other one is 17 inches for the waist i want my blouse length to be 24 inches including the seam so we only have three measurements to to mark here though we are still going to mark the chest line so these are the marks we need to cut your top. I will mark a straight line. So that's the nine inches for the bust, for the waist. The length of the blouse is 24 inches, including the seam. All we are going to do is to take our measurement. First, I will take my shoulder line. The shoulder line I will be working with is eight inches so i will mark my eight inches there then i will mark my neck width of three and a half inches the neck depth of three inches i will connect the line together i will mark my chest line so the chest line i'll be working with is eight inches so i'll mark my eight inches there then i'm going to draw a straight line Take a straight line down. Next thing is to come down by one inch for the slope. So I'm going to connect the one inch slope to the neck width of three and a half. I think you are seeing what I'm doing. Then I will mark half an inch. This is one inch, so I'm going to divide it into two. So I'm going to mark half an inch seam. So I'm going to make a straight line to still join the join the three point five inches. Next thing is to look for the hammo midpoint. The midpoint will be four inches. I'm going to mark the hammole area. I'm going to connect it. Connect the hammole area. So that's the hammole area. Now next thing is to mark the body measurement so i'll mark the horizontal line the bus we are working with is 36 inches 36 inches divided by four is nine inches so i'm going to mark my nine inches in then we have had two inches to hit Then I will go to my waist. So the waistline I'm working with is 38 inches. 38 inches divided by 4 is 9.5 inches. 9.5 inches. Then I will mark extra 2 inches for seam and allowance. 9.5. So that will be 11.5. So what I will do is now to connect the line together, mark straight line. Just mark it straight down. I will extend it to the hormone area. So the chest line now will be our hormone area where I've marked here. So we are going to mark it down to the blouse length. What we have to do is to cut the blouse out now. It's done. You can make it within five or three minutes now i'm going to cut the blouse out
Ich ziehe die Blaustreifen aus. Now, I will come to the next area. Then, the half an inch seam to cut it out. So you can start your cutting from the hand hole or down here. So let me start my cutting here. Then you will now take it to the hand hole now. Let me remove this so that I'll be able to cut it very well. Now you can see what I'm doing. When you come to hand hole area, And you cut straight down. I have to cut it out. Now our basic blouse is ready for the asymmetric top. Now the next thing now is for us to cut the asymmetric top from our neck here down to the common area. So that's what we are going to do now. For us to cut it, remember we have eight and a half inches for the whole area. So the line we are going to make now from the tip of your ham hole area down to the shoulder line. So we just cut across it. So that's what we are going to do now. Cut from here. Stretch down, straight down. Just cut from the edge of your ham hole. And you cut straight down. Cut straight down. If you want it to be cut, you can use a cut line. But well, I decided to just mark a straight line. Then you cross down to the shoulder tip. So that's it. So this is your asymmetric top. That's what you cut. It is very, very simple. Just cut from the hammer area down to the tip of your shoulder line. But if you want it to be more than this, you can. Mark two inches or one and a half inches and cut it out. If you want it to be more open, then you can cut straight down. And again, if you want it to be, you can see this is straight anyway, it's slant line. If you want it to be curved, if you want to make a curved line, you can as well use your curved line to achieve it. If you want to cut this now, you have to place it on your fabric and Cut it out. You can see it is very simple to cut. This is the reason why they call it one shoulder. Because we've cut the one shoulder half here down. Then this is the remaining ham hole. So that's why they call it one shoulder top. So it is very easy to cut, like I've said. So try and cut yours as well. So this is the end of today's tutorial. So if you find this tutorial helpful, kindly give it thumbs up. And if you are watching my channel for the first time, you are welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell for you to be notified whenever I upload a new video so that you won't miss out. Thank you once again for watching. And for those that have already subscribed, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you once again. Till I see you in my next video. Bye.